Hello, I'm back for another video. My name is Josh Kasich, and today, well, this is what if I was a Pokemon gym leader. Now, I got this idea because you, ha I watch a lot of uh, Poke Tubers, and they've been uh, doing these of uh, the, the same video. And essentially, some of them tag their friends. Uh, while others like heard about other Poketubers doing it and so they decided to do it because it's an interesting idea and You know they encourage us to either write down in the comic section what uh, What uh, gym you know that you would have or that I or someone else uh, has that you know or make a video and so I've decided to make a video it makes sense. I mean I have my own YouTube channel. Why not? So that's kind of the idea of this uh, video, is to what came from, and so essentially, I want my gym to be a different type of gym that you usually don't see. Oh, you know, there isn't any gym like the gym I'm going to be picked because, well, I can't really decide when typing. You know, I've never, uh, you know, most gym, all gyms basically are set to one type and I think although they can still be challenging it kind of makes it easier if you understand the typings of each Pokemon so you prepare to bring the right type of Pokemon to the battle or now sometimes yes a lot of Pokemons are dual typings which changes those effects but uh, not to not really that much um, because they still use that that's their general typing so usually it would still someone have the same weaknesses now there has been a champion that has well there's actually been two champions that has uh, mixed kind of teams where they're not associated with one typing uh, I know well, there might be another one, but the two I know of for sure are Cynthia and the uh, I forgot her name, but the uh, champion of the Kalos region. I I don't remember Unova's. Um, be, well, if it, you go by Iris, it'll be a full dragon type team. I'm pretty sure. Um, I forgot what um. What the previous champion uh, Pokemon Black and White uh, was, I forgot. Um, I forgot what his typing and uh, what other typings he had. I think he might be mixed, but uh, that's not the point of the video. So, if champions can have mixed teams, I think at least one gym leader could have a mixed team, and that's kind of what my team is going to be. Now. My gym is going to be the final gym you have to face. And uh, it's going to be based in the Hoenn region. So here's a picture of the Hoenn region. It'll be picture in picture, so it should appear on screen as I'm talking. Uh, so this is what it looks like. Uh, it's, you know, it's pretty good uh, map, big region there. Now, it does have eight gyms. And so I'm going to have to... And, and let's say you're playing through a playthrough of the game that this region is in. Uh, this game is mostly going to be based off of the Omega Ruby uh, team, uh, uh, version of the Hoenn region. And uh, basically, I'm not going to get rid of the 8th gym uh, within, this, the, within the game. I think it'll just be the 7th gym and I'll just get rid of like an early gym. Uh, because I think you still need to face that gym leader, especially because it's in this story-wise. You know, you can't... It's it's really weird to just skip that one because it's story-wise. And um, so that's why I still want you to do it. It'll just become the seventh gym leader. And all the other gym leaders that I'm keeping will just be pushed back. And we'll just remove someone in the early game. And so when you beat the sun gym leader... Uh, either that sun gym or takes you to where we're going to be uh, where my gym is located or You take well, let, let's get to the board. So my gym is going to be located on the top of Mount Chimney um, And so a picture of Mount Chimney will appear on screen as you can see it is the top uh, most 
point of the home region is the largest mountain. It's really up there, and that's why I wanted to be up there because I want it to be feel like I'm at the top here. I'm your last stop before you have to go battle the foreign champion. And that's why I want to be strong and I my gym to be powerful and strong. So to give you a challenge, if you can overcome me, then you are ready for the Elite Four and Champion. Now, my team is going to be like in the 50s, like high 50s, which means it's really close to the levels of the... Um, it's actually it's actually past the levels of the first um, Leaf Four member. So what I'm going to do is in this story is that the Leaf Four and Champions is going to be buffed a little bit. So instead of they're going to be in the 50 to 60 range, it's I'm going to move it up to the 60 to 70 range. Uh, it's come in the middle between their your first match against them and their rematch because the rematch is like 70 to 80 so um levels so uh that's kind of how i am designing this i'm just going to move them up a little bit so you still face my uh gym and the, the re reason why is for some of my pokemon i have certain moves um that's kind of why i want Want it to be 50 in the high 50s. I also, like I said, I want to be a top gym. Like, if you can't beat me, you have no point on going to the League Foreign Champion. It's kind of the idea that I want this to be. Alright? So, you, so, if you do, you do come to my gym, you beat the seven gym, I'm your last uh, opponent to your last, the, before the Leaf Forward Champion, you walk into my gym. Now, my gym is a tower type base thing where you have different floors. And there's always a gym puzzle, all right? So my gym puzzle is, well, it has three puzzles and it's kind of based on, uh, you know, when you're younger, some adults, there's like some adult books, but... They like you know based on like those paper puzzles you know scram unscramble um search word and you know crossword puzzle those are kind of the ideas so the first level is going to just be a huge scramble platform where you have to unscramble uh the what these what letters what pokemon names do these letters make and it's supposed to, yeah it's supposed to challenge your pokemon name challenge is kind of what this is about you know if you understand pokemon names um and so eventually in a scramble where there's always one letter in each of those words is supposed to spell out one big word that you're supposed to figure out that word is the password the one out of three passwords you need to um get to beat me or come face me um, so, now, let's say you don't beat this challenge, alright? You don't get the passer. Well, you're going to have to battle one of my, tr uh, the trainers in my gym. Now, if you, uh, either way, if you complete or not, you still have to battle this person. If you won, this guy's going to be a little bit easier. If you didn't pass the challenge, it's going to be a little harder. Now, let's say you failed and you battled this person and you won. He'll give you the passer so you can move on because you did beat him. Just knowing that you did beat him, but you didn't pass the skill which you kind of need in order to beat me. Okay? It's kind of that idea. But this is a gym, and you're going to pass the puzzle. You're going to beat the trainer, um, because the trainer is going to try to protect that passer from you moving on. And that's kind of the point here, is that the trainer is going to try to stop you from moving on with the passer. But you beat him, you move on to the second challenge. The second challenge is a search word um, puzzle. So it's going to be time-based. You're going to have to find a lot of words. It's a big platform, so it makes it harder than just, you know, doing it on paper. It's kind of the challenge, but you are going to be timed. It's supposed to, what's testing, uh, well, first it's testing your speed capabilities, like how fast you can do things. It's also um, testing visuals, like okay if like how good you are seeing in a battle like okay you see what's going on and how uh, you could add that to your strategy on to beat your opponent um and then it's supposed to also kind of test your strategy because you have to have a good strategy to get all the words in the amount of time you are given 
So those are kind of all this test is testing you. Now technically all these scales that I'm testing in here is not really important in a game version of Pokemon Battle. But I want these battles to be more like the anime version. So yeah, these skills will be important for an anime version of Pokemon Battling. Uh, so that's kind of how this is working. So, but once you, if you find all the words, the password will appear on the ground, like a thing will open up and it'll show you the password, and then you have to battle the trainer because he needs to, well, he's going to challenge you because he needs to protect the password. Same as the last one. Um, and I say if you didn't pass and you still have to battle him, you just be strong and you get the password. But, you know, uh, that's kind of that idea. But you passed it, you beat that guy, you move on to the third challenge. The third challenge is a crossword puzzle. And this is supposed to challenge, this is going to, instead of names this time, it's going to be kind of your understanding of moves and abilities, natures, kind of that idea, because that could help as well. Um, and so that's what this is testing. And it's kind of the same thing. If you complete it, you get the password, you battle the, the guy because he's trying to protect all the passwords. Because you got all the passwords, he needs to protect all of them because he's the last stand, right? And, um, let's say you, but you passed it. You beat that guy and you move on. So you go to the top floor. Now, here's, the top floor is kind of split into this open, this open area and my office, or battle area hidden behind two doors the guy is there he says you you shall not pass unless you tell me the three passwords and so you tell him uh the passwords now the three passwords are actually based on our names of the pokemon i'm actually going to be used in the battle but you won't know that and, but let's say you figure it out. Okay, so the first password is going to be Lucario, the second password is Pikachu, and the last one is Blaziken. Let's say you do figure out, okay, these are probably the Pokemon that's going to use it in this battle. But guess what? It's not going to be in that order. So, you might think of a strategy to beat Lucario, because that might, you thinking that that might be the first Pokemon going to be used. And your strategy, um... Strategy might work if you bring like a flying type or a psychic type or a ground type. Um, the strategy might still work because technically the first Pokemon I'm actually going to be sending out is Blaziken and all those typings would work on them. But let's say you brought in, let's say, a fire type. Because it's, you know, you thought, oh, it's the card, it's part steel, I'm going to use a fire type, that's not going to work. So, it really depends on what strategy you're thinking, but you won't know the Pokemon I'm going to be uh, you using, or the order I'm going to be using them in. But, it doesn't matter. So, you tell him the passwords. Lucario, Piku, Blaziken. Okay, you have the three passwords. Now I'm going to open the door, and you will face... Uh, you'll face the gym leader, Josh, and he's going to be a tough challenge. Prepare yourself. And so the doors open up, and you walk in, and I say, Welcome, challenger. I see you got through. You got the passwords. But I don't know if you got the passwords by completing the challenges or getting the passwords by beating the trainers. We will see within this battle all right so we go into battle you send out your first pokemon i send out my pokemon which is going to be blaziken now blaziken will appear on screen now the stats and items are not going to be reflected here those items i uh, those things um would be different for the battle because obviously I'm not going to be using a Blaziken Knight. I'm, I'm not going to mega evolve my Blaziken. This is a gym battle. That's crazy. That's I'll just leave that for the Leaf Four and Champion. I mean, when you first battle them, the Leaf Four and Champion, I think the Leaf Four don't even have Mega Evolution. Only the Champion did, did. So until the rematch, and then they all have it. So I definitely am not going to use Mega Evolution in this battle. So those items on my Lucario and Blaziken, they're going to see do not matter. I'm not going to use that and the stats are going to be different because my specifically my Pikachu is going to be more Powerful than a normal Pikachu 
Um, so stats wise, that stats on that Pikachu um, really don't that you're going to see won't matter. But uh, other than that, but yeah, so you have Blaziken here as you see on the screen. It's going to have Sky Uppercut, which you learned at level 57, which it is at all my Pokemon are level 57. Uh, and then the rest um, are either by TM and uh, Move Tutor. So this is, I want this. This is tackling my starter Pokemon. You know, Pikachu is tackling my first Pokemon and Ace. But this is a Pokemon I picked from um, prof uh, from the professor when I first started on my journey and became the gym leader here. And this is not the. It wasn't the tor Torchic that was one of the options that you picked. No, this is from a previous time. I mean, it like, even if you picked a Torchic, I would still have this Blaziken. So, um, that's kind of the idea. So, this Blaziken, um, so I've trained it uh, under a Move Tutor person to get it Blast Burn, and then I, I picked up a um, flame Flamethrower and a fire blast tm to teach it those two moves so it is a tough challenge i mean these are powerful fire type moves and fi uh, and a fighting type move so it's going to be a tough challenge but you'll be able to beat my blaziken so we're going to be moving on you'll go battle my lucario and there is my lucario 57 very strong uh, i mean lucario is pretty broken anyway especially with the megastone but that doesn't matter because i'm not using that so um and its moves will be close combat aura spear extreme speed and um what is it uh, dragon pulse these are powerful moves okay so um these are powerful these moves are um you know they're really hard to beat okay so now these moves you're going to have a tough challenge with it because it's Lucario, but you are going to be able to beat Lucario. Uh, and so we'll move on to my Pikachu. Now my Pikachu has Thunder, Thunderbolt, um, Iron Tail, and Electro Ball. Okay, so Electro Ball, I um, well, it learned that naturally already. Um, Thunderbolt and Thunder I taught with the TM and Iron Tail I got from a move tutor. And so this this is a powerful Pikachu. This is my ace. And you know, it's gonna be probably the toughest challenge you're gonna have. It's speed wise is gonna be a problem. Um, you have to deal with that. And overall, it's really gonna be a tough challenge. But you were able to beat my Pikachu. You beat all my Pokemon. And you are gonna be rewarded the multi type and uh, the mountain multi uh, the multi type mountain badge now this badge now it's shaped like mount chimney but it's like three colors red blue and yellow as showing the three typings i use as a multi type pokemon gym okay and then i reward you with the tm th uh when reward you with thunder as because it's my ace and so instead of when you have to buy it from the department store in Lily, uh, Lily Cove City you have to battle it and you have to uh, you'll give for me I mean and so there you go that's the end of the challenge thank you uh, for you beat me you are strong and now I tell you it's time for you to battle Leaf Foreign Champion, so you go travel to Evergrande City onto Victory Road to the league and you challenge them because you are ready. And there you leave, and that's the end of this story. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. If you are new, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified for my next upload. My YouTube channel website link as well as my Twitter is down in the description as always. And thank you. Goodbye.